Hey, big news, Microsoft has just added GPT-5 to the Microsoft 365. Now what this means for churches and ministries is that you can have kind of this little assistant that's running right there with you. So. Think about um, you get people that have sent emails um, or they're first time visitors and have joined your email list. You know, you could have Outlook draft follow up emails with them that are in your tone as the pastor or your tone as the family pastor or what have you. Now, this is available now in Microsoft 365. So check and see if your account has access to this and start playing with it. It could be really useful. Now, this is not about, you know, replacing the uh, pastor or replacing the church ministry staff or anything like that. What it's about is you guys having the ability to focus more on ministry and not on some of the mundane things. Now, I would caution, be wise. This is AI that's going to be drafting these emails or fixing these documents or, you know, all those sort of things. So what I would do is be sure to keep an eye on it. Check the drafts. Don't have it just automatically send things out. Check the drafts. Go over it and make sure that everything that's being said is being said properly and is being said from the appropriate biblical view. So check it out. Let me know how it's working for you.